Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Well, in this video, we're going to do a continuation of the preceding videos on the old Black Hawk bandsaw that we fixed up, that we got from Justin, you know, that was his grandfather's old bandsaw. And anybody who has a bandsaw and uses one much will know that probably the biggest problem you face is this, you know, a broken blade, okay? That was my big beef with the old Tammy bandsaw was when, you know, it wasn't throwing the blade off, it was breaking them, okay? And even the Black Hawk, if you ain't careful, you know, you can get your drop that comes off, can pinch, and it can bind your blade up and break it. And that's what happened here, not with the Black Hawk, but with my other saw, the old Tammy that we got rid of. You know, the drop came off, and it pinched the blade, and it popped it right at the weld. So guys, what we're gonna be doing in this video is we're gonna be looking at how to weld these blades back together in your garage, okay? And this was used to be a big issue for me and I would uh, just keep my broken blades and I would go up to my dad's house, you know, to his machine shop and he had one of those great big, you know, band saws, you know, the big vertical ones, a real nice one. And on the side of it, it had the, the welder, you know, to weld your blades back together. And I thought, how cool, man, that you just put on it and it would, weld your blade back together, and then you did another process where it would you know, temper it just a little bit and get it slightly warm three or four times. And you had a little place where you could grind it, it was just perfect. Well, you know, since dad passed away and all that's, you know, ancient history now, you know, I can't do that anymore. So fixing my own blades is an issue. And I've got three, count them, three broken bandsaw blades out here right now that need to be fixed. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna crank up the old Smithy over here and get it uncovered. And we're gonna to go to work and make a simple, and I mean simple jig to hold your bandsaw blade in place where you can get in there with your little torch and you can weld it up and uh, use silver solder and put your blade back together, grind it down flat, put it in the saw and try it out. All right, so that's what we're doing next. All right guys, so what we got here is just a plain you no know, piece of angle iron, you know, one leg is longer than the other. And I'm gonna use this side here. We're, we'll take this material, stick it in the bandsaw, and we're just gonna cut some of this material off, okay? We don't need all of that. Guys, so we went up to the bandsaw, and we just took and just sawed this piece off, okay? And we need this piece, we're gonna use it later. So with this piece, what we're gonna do is get it over there into the smithy, and we're gonna true up this edge here, and then we're gonna come right here and we're gonna machine a 3 8 inch slot, 20 thousandths of an inch deep, all right? And that's so that the blade will rest in there. Now it's a half inch blade, and the reason we're gonna use a 3 8 slot instead of half inch is because the blade has a wavy pattern, okay? And we want those teeth and that wave to be kind of hanging out here, okay? We don't need we don't have to worry about that being true or anything. It's just gonna, we just wanna weld that part behind the wave, okay? All right, and this little piece here that we cut off, the drop, we're gonna use it and we'll come back here on top with it and you'll see that at the end and use this as a way of holding the blade in place when we do our welding, all right? So let's get over to the smithy and do a little machine. All right guys, since we milled this off, you know, nice and true, we have found the edge. We don't have to move anything, so I'm just gonna raise up the quill and I'm gonna move the table over 375 thousandths and make a pass across it 20 thousandths deep and that's gonna be perfect, okay? So let's get that done. We've got our little slot milled in. I've got an old D-bird and everything. And now we're gonna take the half inch end mill. We're gonna come right here in the center and I'm gonna machine back all the way through the metal, you know, about a half inch past the edge of the slot. That's just so you got a nice gap in there to do your weld, okay? So let's go, let's get that machine down.
right guys, so here's where we're at with this thing. All right, so you see I just trued this part here up in the shaper over there. Got the edge nice and true. All right, so the idea here guys is that you could take your bandsaw blade and lay it in here like this. And then take this piece of metal and we're gonna come in here and we're gonna put two threaded holes down into this part. So they're just, you know, a couple of quarter 20 screws here and here and it'll clamp the blade down in place and then we're going to mill a slot in here so that we can weld through it just like underneath it all right and that's why here i only machine 20 thousandths down the blade is 25 thousandths thick so that this will hold it and clamp it in place at the same time so that we can do our weld i'm just trying to keep this as simple as possible okay Guys, the next thing we got to do is we're going to take the, um, the part that's going to hold the blade in place on the little jig and we've got to get it set up here in the vise. I've already located this first hole and basically I'm going to come over 750 thousandths and 750 thousandths. You know, three quarters of an inch from this edge and then from this edge, this edge, and this edge. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come in here and center drill these holes and I'm going to drill them one size over a quarter of an inch, okay? got this part here the clamp that's going to be bolted down that holds the blade in place in there okay so that we can weld it so we just drilled us a couple of you know quarter inch holes there really one size over a quarter so that the bolts are going there without any problem and now I'm going to take and uh, clamp this together and I'm going to use my punches to come in here and locate the holes and then I'll well, locate the holes and I'll come in here and I'm going to drill and tap quarter 20 holes here I'll bolt this back on, and then I'm going to machine the slot in it, okay? The same slot that's here. So that's what's next. So let's see what we can get done. Well, here's our finished product. You know, we just took a simple piece of angle iron, sawed it off in the saw, trued everything up. So we milled that slot in there for the blade to sit into. You know, we milled the little slot 20 thousandths of an inch deep because the blade is 25 thousandths. So I wanted that 5 thousandths sticking up so that when you put the clamp here on top and you tighten it up, it pinches the blade and it won't move it. So you can see right there's the little spot where you'll do your welding at. And I, you know, left that opening there so that you, know, you can get in there with your little torch and you can heat that up. All right, and there's the crack, the break in the blade. Now this blade's not ready to be welded, okay? I just put it in here for looks. But this is really it, man. This little simple jig. I can bolt this, you know, just clamp this in my vise. And it'll just sit right there and where I can do the work. All right, so in the next video, we'll show how to weld the blades together, okay? That's the next thing. So we made us a little jig here to hold it with. And that's the big thing. You just want to be able to hold this thing nice and flat and true so that you can get in there and you can do your weld and everything on your blade. All right, everybody. I appreciate you hanging out with me in the garage today. Well, we got out here on a rainy day and uh, made this little jig to hold the bandsaw blade together so we can weld it. And that's going to be coming up next, man. We'll get the old broken blades and later this week I'll make a video showing us weld these blades up and the proper materials you're going to need to do that, okay? can't weld these blades with just any old thing. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next video.